In this video, we're going to show you how easy it is to use Cloudinary's rich variety of transformations to tailor your images and videos to any situation. When you upload your assets to Cloudinary, whether they're images, videos, or other types of files, you can access them using a URL. A transformation is a set of parameters that you can add into the URL to deliver a modified version of the asset. A transformation can change many things about how an asset looks. For example, its colour, brightness, angle and border. And when it comes to videos, duration, speed and volume, to name just a few. Transformations are also used for optimization, reducing size, changing formats and applying compression. Take this image, which is 1280 by 8 by 3 pixels. Let's say we want to display it with a 2 by 3 aspect ratio and a width of 500 pixels. We can use the AR and W transformation parameters to resize it on the server side, which reduces the bandwidth required to deliver it. To avoid squashing the image, we'll use the fill cropping action, C underscore fill. By default, this will focus on the centre of the image, but it's better to let Cloudinary AI decide what to focus on especially if you're using this transformation on lots of different images. You can use automatic gravity, G-Auto, to do this. Now we've got all the people fully in, but the dog's tail is there too and doesn't look so great. Let's remove that with generative AI. We can do that with the eGen remove parameter in another component separated by a forward slash. Let's give it a prompt of tail Transformations containing more than one component are known as chained transformations, and you can chain as many as you like. Let's make this black and white too by chaining the E grayscale parameter. Each chained component applies its action to the result of the previous one. It's best to include only one action per component, though some actions have qualifier parameters that control the exact behavior of that action, and they need to go in the same component. You can apply transformations to videos in much the same way. For example, here's the same crop focusing on the most interesting frames with G-Auto again. Overlays are another popular transformation that you can add into the URL too. Here's an example of a text overlay, though you also have the option to overlay an image or another video. Use the L parameter for the overlay and the FL layer apply parameter to specify its position. It's important to optimise your images and videos for fast delivery. You can let Cloudinary automatically decide the best format and compression to use with F-Auto and Q-Auto. And you can even shorten the video on the fly with the duration parameter, DU. Let's make it 5 seconds. When you request a transformation, your original asset remains intact and a new derived version of the asset is created. Each new transformation that you request counts towards your quota, but because derived assets are cached on a CDN, you won't be charged again for requesting the same URL. Any slight change to the URL, though, is counted as a new transformation, even if the result is the same. There are hundreds of ways to transform your images and videos. Check out the reference to see all the parameters, syntax, and examples.